Hello YouTube ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Gamer Nate Game Theory. The Metal Gear Solid series is amazing in every way, and it really gets your brain turning with all that talk about jeans, memes, and nano machines. Oh my! In this episode, I'm going to explore the most popular theory of the Metal Gear series, that Kazuhira Miller is actually Revolver Ocelot. These guys star in Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain alongside the biggest boss himself in their quest for revenge. But here's the thing, they're actually the same person. Let's get started. Number one they're never seen in the same room at the same time. In Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain, you never ever see Ocelot and Kaz in the same room at the same time. It's always one or the other talking to Big Box. Even when they talk over the codec, their voices sound like exactly the same, and everybody notices this. You know, it's never consistent. Whoever this guy is, whoever is playing the part of Ocelot and Miller, he, he just, he's not, he's not disguising his voice. And, like I said, you never see him in the same room. You know, this is a tactic that might fool Big Boss, and Quiet, and Eli, and Dee Dee, and Huey, because he's stupid. But it can't fool me. Number 2. Strikingly Similar Good Looks Now, if you're watching this video, it's definitely on your mind that Ocelot and Kaz are extremely handsome men who try to do their best to help out the Big Boss Man. But don't you think they're a little too handsome? I mean... You know, they're so handsome that their looks are on the same level of handsomeness, because that's what I think. They're the same person because, you know, their good their good looks are so similar, you know, it blurs the line, you know, and, and it crosses over. It's it's true, it's true. They're they they look so similar. Number three. Why can't Big Boss eat the meat? When quote-unquote Ocelot tells you information about the animals you encounter in the field, he gives you some pretty good information, but you know what? It always ends on the same note. They're the oldest domesticated sheep and are also prized for their pelts. Some are raised for their meat, but keep your appetite under control. It's also butchered for meat, but don't get any ideas. He just keeps on telling Big Boss not to eat the animals. This is where the name discrepancy comes into play, alright? The opening credits of each mission tell us Miller has the middle name of Benedict. Now, where does this name come from? You know, it just kinda, it just kinda popped up with this game. Obviously, it was an oversight. You know what I think the name means? Well, Benedict starts with a B, right? You know what else starts with a B? Big and Boss as well. You know what Ocelot's name is? Ocelot. You put these things together, and we get a twisted name. Kazuhira Revolver Bossalot. The real man that Kaz and Ocelot is, he wants to be the real big boss. By encouraging him not to eat meat, he's starving him of the rich animal proteins that he needs to keep those muscles. For shame, Revolver Bossalot. I can see right through your disgusting scheme. Number 4. The proof is in the pudding, baby. For the last and most important point of this game theory, I'm gonna hop on Metal Gear Solid 5 myself and show you guys the secret in-game that reveals the proof. Okay guys, what's up? So, I'm in the Phantom Pain, uh, I'm in Afghanistan with my boy D-Horse, also known as Raspberry Jam. So, uh, D-Horse, aka Raspberry Jam, he knows, he knows secrets, you know, I figured out that he knows secrets in the game, and I figured out how to make him reveal those secrets. So, the secret that Strawberry Jam is gonna reveal to me is where to find the proof that causes Ocelot. So here's what we gotta do. We gotta make sure Reflex Mode is on, we have to go get discovered by an enemy soldier, and then, while we're in Reflex Mode, we gotta make D-Horse poop, alright? So once we make D-Horse poop, you gotta kill the enemies, and then D-Horse is gonna tell you the secret. Alright, let's get to it! There we go. All right. Yep. Yep. We're good. Yep. We made him poop. All right. So now you got to kill the enemies. All right. Now that we've killed the enemies, D-Horse is going to tell us the secret. Oh, all right. Oh, what, what's that strawberry jam? We, we need to go to the power plant. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. All right, guys. Strawberry jam is telling us that there's a secret lock at the power plant. We need to go pick a secret lock, and inside is the pudding that has the proof in it. 
All right, guys, we're at the power plant, and I guess there's a lock behind this thing, so we gotta pick it. So, all right, you just gotta do this thing, and oh, there we go. All right, here we go, here we go, there. Oh, we're in, we're in. Let's go find that pudding. Oh, man. Oh, man, this is secret stuff, dude. Dude, got D-Horse, Strawberry Jam. He was not lying. Oh, man, this is, this is good. This is good. The proof is definitely in here somewhere. Oh, look at this, this hallway. Look, that's where Sahelanthropus was. Oh man, th this is... It's got a secret in it, definitely. Oh, here we go. What's that? Oh. Oh man, there there it is, guys. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's it. That's the secret. It's real. It's in the game. It's real. Causes Ocelot for real. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god, this is real. Oh my god, game theory confirmed. Game theory confirmed. Oh, this is what this is what Sahelanthropus was guarding the whole time. I knew it. Oh, game theory, game theory confirmed. Game theory confirmed causes ocelot. You've been watching Gamer Nate Game Theory causes ocelot confirmed. All right, see you guys on the next episode. Make sure to subscribe, give this video a like, and check out my blog spot too.